Hello everyone, it is me, it's a movie, and today this is just going to be like a super short video of um, explaining how this painting tile drone works. Now, um, because today, earlier today, I saw it on a Facebook group and people were asking about how do you paint the tile drones without getting all the paint spilled inside the crevices of like, you know, as you can see this little black part and uh, this auto focusing is really fucking me up, but I hope you can see it clearly. So that's pretty much the question, like how do I do it? It's like, um, the original post, the people, uh, the person who asked this question originally thought about using like the needle, uh, using a syringe to pump the paint into the crevices, which I, I think the effort was, the I, I love the effort, but like it was just, it's just too much work, you know, it's, that will be too much work. And I am here to introduce like a way that you could say is lazy way to do it, um, to get the, all the crevices to begin with. Now, first of all, what you need to do, okay, is you get the color you want for your crevices. That's like, uh, let's say if you want the crevices to be red, then you might want to paint like a large chunk of red um, on top of it first, okay? Make sure the red is inside and then you can do this step as well. It doesn't have to be black. Now, I use Chaos Black Primer just because it's easy, it's simple to understand, so yeah. Oh, now you can see very clearly, okay? I think, that, I guess this is the best angle, so let's check it out. Um, but I, I hate this auto focusing. this is so fucking annoying. And there we go, see? Perfect, it's like, oh. Okay, whatever, fuck it. You guys saw that, right? So that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna do this step by step as uh, as slow as I possibly can. So you take, um, I use a medium layer brush. Okay, as you can see, I, I'm not exactly known for protecting my brush. So it's actually pretty worn out, but that's okay. So you take, um, okay, like Duncan said, always give it like a nice shake. So you take the paint out, right? So you take maybe, you don't, don't take too much, just take a little. Just enough to cover the tip of your paint, uh, the tip of your brush, all right? So what you want to do is like you just load the thing on top of your palette, okay? So you just put it here, leave it here, right? So what you want to do next is grab water, all right? Just grab water and the ratio of water and paint is just, you just dip your, uh, dip the tip of the brush, just do it like this. And as, you, as soon as you see a little bit of puddle forming, that would be enough water. So literally just only a little bit of water and then you brush it back to where you get your paint loaded, right? So you put it like this and make sure all sided of your brush is loaded with the paint. So now um, each side of the paint, uh, each side of the brush is loaded. So what you want to do next, okay? So let me just make sure this is like the, the perfect angle so you guys can see how it works. What you want to do, okay? What you want to do here is Instead of painting it like this, all right, you don't want to do it like this. You actually want to do it like this, all right? So do it like this instead, all right? So what you want to do, it's almost as if you're trying to use the side of the side of the brush to paint it. So you do it like this, okay? All right? So you see we already have some good results, all right? So there it is. As you can see, like the paint, it's a little bit wet, you know, like as you can see, the paint's a little bit wet, but you can fix that part later, you know, like if you see the paint's kind of like this, it's kind of wet-ish, then you might want to add a little bit more paint, you know, so that means you don't have enough paint, but that's okay, we can always grab more, just grab more paint, and then again, load it on your palette, and then of course, don't forget, add some water, always, always uh, thin your paint, all right? Always thin your paint. But if you thin your paint too much, this technique will not work. As a matter of fact, I would say this technique will only work if you have just the right amount of paint. You know, the thickness has the thickness has to be correct. So let's go back here, all right? Uh, let's see if I can do this correctly without embarrassing myself. Why don't we build some of the confidence by doing this first, yes. Okay, just make sure it's perpendicular. It will never get inside. Mm-hmm. And then kind of want to. Okay. Just keep on brushing slow and steady. Oops. No, 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 no. We actually didn't got inside. Okay. So there we go. So that's it. So as you can see, I already paint like the. Uh, the outer layer and the inner layer 
of uh, the drone without touching the crevices. I know the video quality is a bit crappy. Well, it's not crappy, it's just like this thing just keep auto-focusing and it's super annoying. So sometimes it's good, sometimes it's nice, sometimes it's like not good. So anyways, so as you can see right now, so what we need to do to basically just like finish the whole thing, so. It's actually hard for me to paint like this because it's not the optimal angle because I have to set up the camera that uh, you guys can see what the hell is going on so just keep on doing like this and the reason we do this is because we want to make sure like the both side of the crevice are getting totally painted so you don't have to come back and visit and try to fix it later so just make sure that the two side like this side and this side is being painted and that's all you need to do and then the rest is pretty easy because the rest you basically just fill like the inner the inner circle and then you do some clean up on the outer circle so here's another example right so that's wash your brush oh and this is important like always wash your brush uh constantly like once you finish like a small part of uh your model just wash your brush and then just like clean up a little bit and then once again um uh, the paint palette might be a little dry so you might want to load a little bit more so just get a little bit more here put it here and then get some water and then just rinse and repeat okay and sometimes you can kind of tell if your paint is thick enough because if your paint is too wet the all the uh, all the uh, paint will get into the crevices but if it's too thick it will also get into the crevices and also it will make the whole painting process is so much harder. So let's try this part, all right? This part is even harder. Well, technically it's even harder because um, the crevices is even more, sh uh, should I say shallower? Oh my God, this auto focusing is so fucking annoying. So let's paint this part, right? So like I said, perpendicular, right? So as you, as you can see this part, right? So instead of doing like this, I'm gonna do it like this, right? So let's try it. Uh, it's just well I think it's too much paint I'm not quite sure sometimes you can just tell you have too much paint so you want to like wipe it off a little bit okay so so here we go um, and that's to show you if you, can, you guys can see it like this but all right so let's get started so nice and easy there we go so just do it slow no rush just Brush it with the side and make sure your brush is perpendicular to the crevices. Or you can fail sometimes. But yeah, I think it's because like I'm trying to adjust like the the perfect angle for you guys to see it. So I got I fucked up a little bit here, but that's okay. I can clean up later. Uh, that's about to check out this part. So uh, this part it's probably harder for you guys to see. Oh, please just work. Please auto focus. Please just work. Okay. Okay, not enough. Right, so let's get some more paint. Just a little bit. It's always better to just get like a little bit of paint than to get like a huge load of it and then you want to use it for later. But that 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 will never work because it, it's just gonna get dry. If you're gonna if you spend too much time painting, the whole palette becomes uh, the whole palette becomes dry and then you will end up with like a huge waste of blob of ink. So Let's try this part, all right? Let's try this part. And let's see if the video quality can actually get better. Let's try this. There we go, okay. I think that you guys can see it very clearly now. Not... Oh my God, this autofocusing fucking sucks. I should probably need get like a better camera. Okay, does that work? Does that work? Okay, screw it. I'm just gonna paint it perpendicular. This is quite difficult, actually. Okay. Ooh, no rush, no rush. Just, just slowly brush it. Don't worry about the angle. Well, actually, you have to worry about the angle, just like if you can't get the right angle, feel free to rotate the model. And there we go. See, we're not getting any paint inside. And then you can do like the clean up part like this. You can just like clean it up, you know. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Done. 
So that's pretty much it. And that's how you paint like a towel drone. I'm, I'm so fucking done with this camera. Okay, maybe you can see clear, more clearly like this. So it's like this. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helps somehow. Even though I know the camera quality is like auto focusing in and out all the time. But I hope you guys can see the technique uh, nonetheless. So yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.